Hello everyone, this is Dan Calloway and uh, what I want to do today is uh, I want to show you the new version of LibreOffice which is version 6 <clears throat> and uh, for most of you that are running um, Linux uh, operating systems you're probably running LibreOffice version 5. It's brand new, just been released, uh, version 6 is and and so 5 is the one that comes with most of the repositories in Linux and it will be for a little while until uh, they make sure all the bugs are worked out and then they'll uh, push it into the repos so that you can um, download that and um, through your repository and install it to replace the previous version. Version 5 is a great version of uh, LibreOffice. 6 is even better from what I can see. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm running, show you that I'm running OpenSUSE Leap 42.3 right now, uh, KDE Plasma 5 desktop. And I've got the dashboard set up, so I'm going to show you how I uninstalled 5. I click on the Start menu, it takes me out to my dashboard, and, and then you can go to Settings, and then go to the YAST control panel. YAST stands for Yet Another Software Tool. And let me log in, requires uh, root privileges. I can get in the password. And um, <clears throat> once you put in the root privileges, the password to get into root privileges here, it elevates you so that now you can get into YAS and do what you need to do. Click on the software management button here. <clears throat> and that should open up the software management interface. Uh, and then once it uh, refreshes the repositories, it should take you out to the search window. And I'm not going to go much beyond this because uh, I don't want to uninstall uh, LibreOffice 6. But what I did was I just typed in here in the start window over here uh, LibreOffice and then hit search. And that opens up every version of. Uh, dependencies and the, the LibreOffice uh, 5 interface itself. Everything you see here is 6, but what you would see would be 5 uh, if you had 5 installed, obviously. And so what I did was I just clicked here, double clicked, and that brings that up to an X. Then you hit accept, and then it runs through the process of actually uninstalling the old version. And I'm not going to do that because I've got 6 installed. So let me get out of the YAS control panel. And once you've got that uh, done, then what the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the website, uh, which is LibreOffice.org, uh, and download, um, depending on which operating system you're running. Again, I'm running uh, OpenSUSE Leap 42.3, which is based uh, roughly on RPMs. Uh, like CentOS and Red Hat. If you're running something like Ubuntu, you'd need to take the Debian uh, download. So I'm going to click on Opera and open up the Opera web browser. Uh, once I get that up, um, I'm going to expand it to full screen. Uh, then what I need to do next is uh, click on here, and I've got LibreOffice already uh, in my uh, speed dial. And so it takes me out to LibreOffice.org. This is the website where you download the free Office Suite. Click on the download link and download LibreOffice. All right, and then scroll down to this window here for download LibreOffice. Uh, again, mine's RPM based, but if you are running something that's Debian based, you'll want to select the x86 Deb. Um, if you're running Mac, you'll run the Mac. Windows, you do that. Uh, you select one of these either for the 64 bit or 32 bit. And again, I'm running the 64 bit RPM. And so I would select that and then hit the download link. Uh, a few seconds, that's going to start the download process in my uh, browser. I'm, I'm going to halt it as soon as it uh, starts up because um, it does take a few minutes to download. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and close the browser. Once that's completed, what that does is, uh, let me get into the home directory.
and um, what that does is it uh, drops that tar.gz file, which is a compressed tarball, into the downloads folder. And there it is. Um, what I did was I went ahead and created a LibreOffice folder here I wanted to put uh, the RPM files into. And so what I did was I right clicked on the tar.gz file and selected Open with Arc, which is an, uh, an archival application in Linux. Um, and then here's, this is what you have, okay? So I want to collect the extract. Now you can do this at the command line also, but I'm choosing to do it in the GUI because most people uh, feel you know are familiar with the GUI and feel more confident doing it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, extract that out to uh, the downloads folder itself. And so I'm just going to go ahead and say extract and go ahead and let that extract out. Once that's completed, I'm going to go ahead and close the ARC utility. Um, now what you have is you have a, an RPM folder. And so if I right click here on the RPM folder and open, let's see, uh, do I want to do it that way or let's do it open with uh, Dolphin. What you have here is you have an install folder and you have an RPMs folder and you have a readme folder. Now <clears throat> if you don't know how to do this you can go ahead and just click on the install folder and that should install it for you. What I chose to do instead was I went ahead and opened up the RPMs folder and then I uh, selected all of the RPMs here. And then I just right clicked and copied those I dropped it, so let me go back. Okay, make sure that you've got them all selected. Right click and copy. Copy all the RPMs. Go back out and then go to the uh, LibreOffice folder. Here are the downloads. I've got the LibreOffice folder here. Um, let me open that up. And what I did was I just right clicked and then pasted those in here. That's what you see here. Okay. So I just pasted all of the RPMs into the LibreOffice folder uh, under Downloads. And now once you complete that, you can just close out this interface altogether. I'm going to install this uh, at the command line. So what I did was I just opened up the terminal. And once the terminal is open, uh, put in the password. Because you do need super user privileges. And then I'm going to navigate by changing directory to the um, home data pioneer downloads folder. Run a listing on that. And my folder I want to get into is the LibreOffice fo folder, the so directory. And so I change directory to LibreOffice. And now let's learn another human readable long listing. Uh, and there you have all of the RPMs that I downloaded uh, into that folder. Okay, so let me go ahead and clear the screen. And here's the command you need to run to do the install. Now that you've got all of the RPMs in one place, you can run a sudo or sudo uh, rpm dash i for interactive star dot rpm. All right, I'm not going to run it because I've already done it. Hit the enter key. And what that will do is it will go through every RPM that you have in that directory and r install it. Okay. And when you're finished, this takes about oh anywhere from probably three to five minutes to complete. You'll get back to a prompt down here, uh, and then you'll just close this out altogether by hitting exit, get out of the terminal, and then once you come down to your start menu. Uh, you'll come over and you'll notice that there is a LibreOffice 6.0, not 5.0, uh, folder and just click on it and it'll open up LibreOffice 6, uh, which is pretty slick as I said. Uh, this is the interface here. Uh, I'm going to do another video later that gets into deeper into what we have, but if you're familiar with 5.0 then 
6.0 is not that much different. I mean, it has some differences, some changes, which are good, and we'll get into that later in a later video. I'm going to go ahead and just open up Rider and show you what we have here. Uh, this is LibreOffice 6 Rider, and uh, if I click on the Help button and go down to About LibreOffice, you can see that indeed we are running version 6, which is 6.0.0.3. Uh, very good um, Office Suite compatible with Microsoft Office Suite, uh, and we'll get into that in a later video. I just wanted to show you how to go ahead and install that in your uh, your Linux system. So this has been a video to demonstrate how to download uh, in OpenSUSE Leap 42.2 Linux, or 42.3 Linux rather, um, the uh, deb the RPM files rather that you need to install uh, LibreOffice 6 after you've uninstalled LibreOffice 5. Have a nice day.